So, resources about learning medicine to help you in your medical school are available online everywhere. But you know what makes it sweeter? When they are absolutely free and help you in all the ways possible. So here are my top 5 resources I personally use throughout my med school and they were absolutely free. Hey there, this is Dr. Subhav Ramnani and welcome to another video. Now before we even touch on the 5 resources that are absolutely free, I have a surprise resource here which is free for a limited time and that is Prep Ladder. Now Prep Ladder you know I already have videos about it uh, reviewing the rapid revision section or the question bank of Prep Ladder and you can check them out and I'll provide the links here. But basically Prep Ladder is used by Indian medical students and even students who study abroad but are of Indian origin and who want to prepare for postgraduate entrance exams like NEET PG or INI CET or even FMG uh, which is the foreign medical graduate exams. So Prep Ladder is used by these students and it is going free for 19 days. That means so there are 19 subjects and each subject is going free for 24 hours. So you literally have one subject free for one hour. Now I won't say that you can cover everything there is that is in Prep Ladder in 19 days. That's I think uh, even mathematically impossible because there's lots of content. But what you can use it as, it, it, you can use it as a trailer for a movie. So there are so many resources you have to decide for your uh, entrance exams or any exam or even for your medical school but you do not want to put in the money before you know anything about the resource so I think this is a great opportunity to know about the resource you know you can just download the app and just check out the free subject of the day but you know what else is it useful for some people or some students uh, want to study from a specific teacher for example, there are a lot of people who want to study uh, pharmacology from Dr. Govind Raigar and he teaches on prep ladder. So this is a great opportunity, you know, to see Dr. Govind Raigar uh, sir's videos and, uh, you know, get to learn pharmacology from him. And if you like it, then well, go ahead. You can purchase the separate app of pharmacology or the whole prep ladder subscription or even you can, you know, try and complete however many videos and questions in that particular day when you know pharmacology uh, becomes free so i'll put up the schedule here and you can check it out so now we go on to our list and you know this the first resource which is absolutely free and i've used it in medical school it is anki and there is no shying away that you know i'm an anki head and i do anki every day and it has been a lifesaver for me in medical school but you might say, how is Anki a medical you know, resource? So Anki is basically uh, a tool which makes you not forget things and helps you retain the things. You learn the things somewhere and to help you retain it, you can use Anki. So I have made videos on Anki a lot of there's a full Anki playlist, which I will link somewhere here and also in the description box below. So you get to know more about Anki. So basically you can download uh, Anki decks, pre-made Anki decks from Reddit and that can be geared towards any exams. So the most popular uh, decks are for USMLE exams but nowadays there are also you know decks coming out for Indian exams like uh, a prep ladder deck. So you know you might study some content from prep ladder video for example let's talk about pharmacology in these three days you study that and maybe someone has already made a deck or flashcard deck about it so you can just download the pre-made deck put it in your Anki and fire away with those Anki cards and basically never forget the things you have learned just once so that's the number one free resource for me and yes it is absolutely free if you want also want to use it on your iOS device that application is paid however there is also a workaround for that like you can just access the Anki web website and you know do the same thing for free but the ios app is paid uh, everything else is free and uh, yeah anki is the number one free resource you can use in med school the second free resource you can use in med school and you absolutely should if you do not know about this 
it is online meded so online meded is a whole platform again it is geared towards usmle and even now there are videos coming for mcat which is uh, to get you admission into medical school but i think you can use that in med school as i used it uh, you can find videos on basically any topic you study in med school and uh, dr dustin william he is a great teacher and he covers every topic in the most high yield sense you can say and gives you the uh, high yield points about it and explains you about the topic so i think and yeah it is absolutely free the videos are absolutely free there is no paywall if you want to access the you know the question banks and all the other material online meded has to offer then you can purchase their subscription but for the videos it is absolutely free and that's the best part about it you can just you know uh, whatever topic you're studying you can just log on type it in the search bar and you will find a, a video about it and you, you can even engage in the comment section of the video where people you know have some questions about the topic and dr dustin william himself he clears those questions in the comment section so that is an amazing community there and not only for medical school online meded has videos for your internship as well so i think uh, many people use it for that very purpose because you know internship resources are very less and you rely on your practical experience but again there are videos for the internship part also so online meded i think overall free resource for med school pre med school uh, and even after med school so yeah online meded absolutely free videos so the third free resource you should absolutely use is webpath utah so this is a resource which has all the pictures of gross anatomy and histopathological slides and you name it any medical condition you can find it there and you have a gross picture about it you have a histopathological slide about it and even a description about the disease and i wish i uh, had used this resource more during my pathology days when i was studying pathology and i would have really understood those slides which uh, to many medical students are just pink slides and you cannot find anything and i am maybe one of them so yeah this resource can help you tackle that and yes it is free so i think you should use it when you are studying pathology or anatomy uh, and for anatomy it's good but it is i think more relevant for pathology because it has more images uh relating to the pathology of the disease and it has both gross images and histopathological slides and even the uh, normal histology so you can use it for normal anatomy and histology as well but the path section is amazing it is uh, well sorted well categorized and yeah do use it uh, it will help you immensely the fourth free resource you should use in your medical school and i think even beyond is radiopedia so radiopedia is a collection of cases uh, you know uh, the cases are submitted by doctors themselves and they have a radiological image for example an x ray or a uh, like a fracture of the femur or something like that and there is a case description about it that the patient presented this and it had the patient had pain in the leg or something like that and very good description how they diagnosed the case and uh, with the help of the radiological image and what treatment did they provide and there are really special cases which you might not see it uh, every day and there are also those those everyday cases so for radiology i think it's a fantastic resource again to uh, help you improve in your uh, reading an x-ray or something like that and yeah so uh, if you want to improve in the pathological slides uh, then webpath and if you want to improve in your uh, reading x-rays and uh, other radiological images then radiopedia is your answer and both of these are free so i think if we start uh, you know uh, using these resources early in medical school it's really beneficial i did not use them as much i knew about them i used it maybe you know a couple of times or four five times but now when i see those images i i'm like wow i it would have been so much beneficial for me when i was studying about that disease in my medical school 
anyway it's never too late so even if you've crossed medical school like me uh, still an excellent resource and absolutely free the fifth and final resource which is free is youtube so youtube is a place where people put videos and i think you can find video about any topic here it might be from an experienced teacher it might be from an uh, experienced platform like prepladder or even online medit you can find videos about literally anything on youtube and even from students themselves like who like to teach or even from budding teachers uh, about any disease you can you know find a video you can find uh, patient cases uh, real life experiences uh, so many things on youtube uh, about diseases so one example i would like to tell you is that when i was studying neurology in my medical school and i remember i was studying about aphasia uh, so broca's aphasia wernicke uh, aphasia and uh, it was hard to comprehend that how do these patient presents like how do they talk like i could see in the description of the book that you know they speak some they speak with pauses or they never take a pause uh, depending on the disease but i just uh, you know googled a patient encounter with uh, wernicke's aphasia patient with wernicke's aphasia or broca's aphasia and now that is stuck in my head now i don't think so i will forget that because i have seen a case uh, it was a video it was not a real life patient encounter but a video helped so much because it's so rare that you will find this case you know in day to day so i think youtube is an excellent source particularly for that about patient experiences and of course it's an excellent source for learning a subject or learning a topic and youtube is also an excellent resource for getting to know more about these free resources like this channel so if you've not already subscribed click on the subscribe button and if you loved this video and like this video click on that thumbs up button and i'll see you guys in the next video until then what was it until then stay safe stay happy and stay mad but just about medicine